In the previous discussion, we assumed a certain sales mix and then determined the break-even point given that sales mix. In this video, we will discuss how limited resources influence the sales mix decision. All companies have resource limitations. The limited resource may be floor space in a retail department store or raw materials, direct labor hours, or machine capacity in a manufacturing company. When a company has limited resources, management must decide which products to make and sell in order to maximize net income. To illustrate, recall that Vargo Video manufactures cell phones and TVs. The limiting resource is machine capacity, which is 3,600 hours per month. The TVs may appear to be more profitable since they have a higher unit contribution margin, again $500, versus the cell phones with a contribution margin of $200. However, the cell phones take fewer machine hours to produce than the TVs. Therefore, it's necessary to find the contribution margin per unit of limited resource. In this case, contribution margin per machine hour. To find the contribution margin per machine hour, divide the unit contribution margin of each product by the number of units of the limited resource required for each product. The calculation shows that the cell phones have a higher contribution margin per unit of limited resources. This would suggest that given sufficient demand for cell phones, Vargo should shift the sales mix to produce more cell phones or increase machine capacity. If Vargo is able to increase machine capacity from 3,600 hours to 4,200 hours, the additional 600 hours could be used to produce either the cell phones or TVs. From this analysis, we can see that to maximize net income, all of the increased capacity should be used to make and sell the cell phones. If you would like to practice this concept, please reference the textbook for the Just Do It exercise.